Hello. Today I'm demonstrating Tamer's next generation MDM solution, Tamer Mastering. Tamer Mastering provides a low code, fully managed environment that enables you to continuously provide clean, curated and accurate data for your key business entities. But before I show you how Tamer Mastering helps you get clean data in six simple steps, let's first take a look at what a mastered entity looks like. This example shows the golden record of a mastered customer, TPV International USA Incorporated. The golden record consists of 45 key attributes curated from eight records across five source systems. Before mastering the data in Tamer, each of these eight source records is considered a unique customer and that makes it difficult to know which records are duplicates and challenging to answer simple questions such as, how many customers do I have? In fact, variety and poor data quality are the biggest challenges organizations face when consolidating source records of the same customers. Now let's look at this same example using Tamer Mastering. As you can see, Tamer groups all the source records as the same customer but allows you to see the variations in fields such as name and address, as well as the missing information and key attributes, such as region or phone number. Tamer brings together all these source records using our data product template for customer mastering. This data product template provides a unique customer ID called a Tamer ID, along with enriched information from Dun and Bradstreet, such as corporate hierarchy and supplier risks. Now that you've seen what a mastered entity looks like, Let's explore how Tamer Mastering's data product templates enable you to clean and curate data for various key business entities. Each data product template is a turnkey solution delivered with industry-specific data schemas, out-of-the-box data cleaning and enrichment services, a fully trained matching model for a specific entity, and rules for record consolidation. In just six easy steps, Tamer Mastering's data product template will help you deliver clean, curated, and accurate data. Let's take a look. Step 1. Connecting to Sources Moving data into Tamer is straightforward. Tamer can read and write data from many cloud object stores and data warehouses such as GCS, Synopse, S3, or Snowflake. Many customers make use of data movement tools to land data into an area for Tamer to read from. Connecting to a data source in Tamer is simple. First, click on the module and the pre-configured flow in the data product template. In this example, my sources are from GCS and I want to add a new table. Next, click on Add Source and select a connection. As you can see, we've configured a connection to GCS and to Snowflake. If you want to configure additional connections to other sources, you can easily do so. Finally. I'm going to click on the demo connections on GCS, find the table of interest, and load that table into Tamer. Tamer's connectivity is a dynamic connection, not a one-time load. That means source data refreshes with each run of the flow as long as the connection persists. Step 2. Schema Mapping Now that we have all our data sources in place, we need to overcome the challenge of having the same data represented in different fields from different systems. This is a step we call schema mapping. Tamer Mastering's data product templates include an industry standard schema, as well as an intuitive UI that allows you to drag and drop source fields to the target fields. We also offer SQL-like language for further data preparation. Here's how schema mapping works in Tamer Mastering. Users can perform schema mapping in the Align to the Customer Data Model module. When I click into this module, you can see the source field on the left and the out-of-the-box configurable schema on the right. Users can add new fields for downstream consumption and provide the mapping. Once the mapping's complete, Tamer automatically consolidates all source tables into a unified table. Now the data is ready for the next step, enrichment. Step 3. Enrichment. Tamer offers various enrichment services out of the box, including country code normalization, phone number validation, global address validation, email access validation, and company name normalization. We're continuously adding new services and new data sources to the enrichment services. And because enrichment is part of Tamer's workflow, 
You don't need to hand code fixes for invalid addresses, phone numbers, country codes, emails, or company names. Let's explore how these enrichment services look in Tamer Mastering. To start, every data product template includes enrichment services. For example, in the data product template for customer mastering, we enrich phone numbers, addresses, and company names as a best practice. It's simple for users to change any enrichment service based on their data needs. To do so, click into this module and pick other enrichment types from a drop-down menu and select the fields with data for enrichment. Tamer automatically enriches your data against trusted sources. For example, it validates address data against local postal service data. Tamer also provides a standardized format and additional information to improve your data quality. Step 4. Machine Learning-Based Clustering Now that we've enriched the data, we're ready to apply the machine learning model. Tamer leverages our 10 years of experience solving challenging data mastering use cases for our customers into machine learning models for each data product template. Once deployed to the Tamer mastering environment, these models can produce production-ready data within days. These models also reduce manual data mastering efforts by 90% and offer highly accurate results. Tamer uses both deterministic techniques such as exact matching and probabilistic techniques to deliver these benefits. Let's take a look. For the data product template for customer mastering, Tamer deployed a specific model to master B2B data by sites. If I click on the Apply Clustering model, you can see all the fields used as signals for machine learning. As an end user, you don't need to train the model. You can simply move the data in, run the workflow, and consume clean data. Once I apply the model and cluster the data, then I'm ready to consolidate source records into golden records through a process called Consolidate Records. Tamer includes best practices for generating golden record values out of the box but users can also add their own definitions to specify the selection criteria for each field. After I've consolidated the records, I can then deliver them for stewardship. Step 5. Humans in the Loop Once Tamer's machine learning algorithm produces results with golden records, it's time to engage humans for stewardship. Machine learning does the heavy lifting and gets you 90% of the way at scale and with high accuracy. But by keeping humans in the loop, data stewards can edit mastered results if needed to close the 10% gap using the Lightweight Curator app. Here's how the curation workflow works in Tamer Mastering. Let's use the example from earlier. TPV International USA Incorporated. This is the golden record view for the curator. As you can see, Tamer's machine learning and out-of-the-box DUNS enrichment capability we're able to identify that TPV is the legal entity under the brand Lenovo and link multiple entities to the account. Tamer automatically groups these eight source records as one cluster on the top and makes suggestions for similar records that a curator should view. This process reduces the manual effort of searching for duplicates by up to 90%. Curators can merge or unmerge any records and they can manually override any golden record values or choose the correct value from a different source. Once the curators finish their review, I simply refresh the workflow to include their changes as part of the golden records. And that brings us to the final step of today's workflow. Step six, publishing and orchestration. Using Tamer, you can publish to multiple downstream consumption endpoints out of the box. We also offer a scheduler to run the pipeline in a low-code environment so users can continuously consume clean, accurate data. Let's explore how the publishing and orchestration workflow works in Tamer Mastering. In order to publish to downstream consumption points, I need to add a destination. In this example, I may want to publish the master data to the source GCS bucket or choose to publish to a data warehouse such as Snowflake. If you don't see the connection to your destination here, you can easily add a new connection. Once I configure the destination for publishing, I can schedule Tamer to run the workflow on a continual basis. Next, I'll use our scheduler to add a task. Here, I'm adding a task to update the data, 
and I'll call this task Read B2B Flow. Then I pick which project should run this task and its frequency. Finally, I'll add this task. In this example, the Tamer scheduler will read the data from the source, run the flow, and publish it to the destination every day out of the box. The users only need to make data available at the source, the GCS bucket in this case. Following these six simple steps with Tamer Mastering will help you achieve your goal of delivering clean, curated, and accurate data. As you saw today, Tamer's data product templates are a turnkey solution for data mastering with pre-trained machine learning based models and out of the box enrichment. And using Tamer's low code environment, non-technical users can easily set up a recurring mastering pipeline. To learn more about Tamer Mastering, please visit tamer.com.